guys we are back in the garage and we got some big updates and some more progress to make this weekend so let's get into it all right so we got some updates on the garage build here uh, if you haven't seen the past videos go check those out but we are here on a Thursday we're prepping for this upcoming weekend and we had some progress made last week and then I'll be showing you guys but we're here to prep for the weekend. As you know, many projects and how successful they are comes down to how well you prepare for them. So that's exactly what we're doing. We're getting everything set up, ready to go for this weekend so we can make full use of the time. Let's clean this out and let's go. So it's actually kind of nice so we can have the garage door open while we're working today uh, which is actually kind of nice um, and it's probably a little bit different view for if you've been watching the series just uh, it's cool having the door open but anyway let's talk about some updates that we've made since the last video so we mounted the sub panel uh, we did get this painted we painted it blue it's like a safety blue um, sub panel is mounted. We did have power to the air compressor before, so we just had to rerun that. And I'll actually move this air compressor out of the way. So yeah, this air compressor is on like a wheeled stand, which makes it nice so we can just move it out of the way if needed, which is perfect for getting access to this wall. So yeah, sub panel mounted. This is new conduit. I struggled with this for a little bit to get this all bent up and everything and it doesn't look great and we want the sub panel mounted a little bit higher and we kind of want this run different so kind of change our mind so we're gonna have to rerun that conduit there we got the manifold mounted which is looking awesome uh tucked away here in this corner still gives you access because the air compressor will end here so you can still shut things off and whatnot there also we got all of the airline run around the garage which is actually kind of an interesting material we have a hole reel here you can see it's like a plastic material but then there's like a uh like an aluminum ring inside it i'll uh, share you in the description down below what this material is i kind of forget right now. this will allow us to run to the other side of the garage when we get there for now we're just doing this side of the garage same with the conduit that we've already run uh we did get the box in there haven't shown that uh, we just have to run power and ground and everything to that but that is the end point and that'll be where like you can open it to relieve any water or moisture that has gotten into the system and if you see a little bit hard with these bright lights in this camera but there are blocks starting here they're short blocks to space it off and then as we come down here they progressively are getting thicker uh, and the reason for that is so that that's the lowest point and really the, and all the corners are lower than any of the runs so that moisture will run to here eventually so we can get out of the system because moisture and air systems are just bad they wreck tools over time and everything else so that will allow for that so the manufacturer does make a bender for this pipe but you can also just use a three quarter inch conduit bender it'll do the same thing uh, for a lot cheaper we do have a lot of the manifold and all the stuff to hook up the system to the air compressor because right now that is not active. It just kind of ends here and we have the air compressor here. Before we just had a manifold set up here. So when it's all said and done, this is what it'll look like with the air compressor along the wall. Again, you'll still have access to that manifold and you'll still have access to the sub panel. That'll be up. And the switch, uh, the knife switch to turn the air compressor on. That would be mounted probably somewhere here. All right, so now with that shut, I can show you here. The blue line is run all the way around the garage. We did end up adding an outlet there, an outlet back there for future hose reels potentially and electrical reels so that every corner has a possibility for the same system as there. But everything's really kind of coming down to this corner and this wall now that we got the rest of it done. So. All those wires have been pulled to all the individual junction boxes and the outlets and everything. So we have to run those cables to the sub panel. So we'll have to run some conduit from there to that junction box. We'll also need to do the same, a similar thing with the airline. 
to there. Don't know if we're gonna get that done this weekend. We're mainly gonna be focusing on the electrical and see how far we can get with that. So we got the conduit from that first junction box now down to the sub panel. The sub panel is mounted and level. Looks way better here, I think, than where we had it originally. So that's looking a lot nicer. Now we just gotta put the knife switch, which is here. So this is getting mounted up here and that'll get connected in. So kind of do that. Okay, so we got the outlet there, outlet there, an outlet up top there, an outlet there, and all of it's run here, brought into the, the cable or the box, the sub panel. So we got all the cables to the sub panel, and so now we gotta wire it up. Well, you wanna explain to us a little bit about what we got going here I mean, in the now next that, steps. Now that all the wires at the panel, all we really have to do is we have to hook up our main feeds, bring those up and around, terminate them at the top, then that brings power in, and then take each and every one of our circuits that we already have labeled, and then just bring them in and wire them to each of the separate breakers, and then that should be it. Pretty so. much good. And then once that's all done, we can click the circuit uh, back down in the basement. Yep. And we should be we should be good to have power to all these outlets and everything. Mm -hmm. So that'll be good. And then even this should be able to run and everything. Should be good. So cool. Let's get into it. Okay, sweet. So we got the panel hooked up now down in the basement. That circuit is on. So this should be live. So when we flip this circuit breaker here, these lights should turn on because we changed it, not from the switch circuit, but to the always on circuit, just so that we can visually see that it's working. All right, so here we go. Make sure. Oh, we're idiots. Oh, is not wired in. <laughs> we haven't connected. It we haven't connected. We forgot to wire nut it. Okay. Well, so much for the great reveal. <laughs> All right. So try number two. Same thing. Those are now wire nutted, and now it's just flip this. And hopefully, first try, we'll get these lights to turn on. Ha ha! That's a good sign. Sweet. We have power, which means when we flip these other breakers, the outlet should work and everything as well. Should we do it? No fires, so we're doing good. All right. We gotta plug something, we want to plug the... <laughs> and then there's an on button. It works. Yeah, taking off. All 
right, so we got the cover on the panel done. So that is looking good there. So everything is set up here. We got the sub panel running to the junction boxes, which is going to all the different outlets and everything that we've added. So pretty much now the conduit is pretty much done now, at least for this half the garage. That half the garage is a whole nother story. But for now, we got this done. The airlines still have a little bit of work, but like I showed you guys earlier, we've already kind of wrapped that all the way around and gotten into this corner. This is mounted, so we'll just have to kind of run that down into there. But for now, that's pretty much good. Oh, and the one other thing is we have the heat sensors going up there that we just have to run. But that's pretty much it. And power's already run to those. So literally all that is is hooking them up. Remember to turn the circuit breaker off when we go to do that because that'll be a bad day if we don't. Um, but yeah, so that's all pretty much for this video. I appreciate you for watching. Um, go check out the other videos if you have not, but I appreciate you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Okay.